On this day, June 24th, 1992, Billy Joel graduates at 43. He finally gets his high school diploma from Hicksville High School in Long Island, New York. He didn't graduate with his class in 1967 because of a missed English credit. He was supposed to graduate 25 years earlier in 1967, but was busy being a musician and missed a crucial English exam when he overslept. So pretty much what you're telling me is Billy Joel is actually Billy Madison. And I thought that was super dope whenever I read that because Billy Joel is this guy who is one of the greatest songwriters of all time, writing tremendous songs for years, hit after hit after hit. And you're telling me dude didn't even graduate because he didn't pass an English exam. He didn't show up to because he overslept. Nonsense. Also, on this day, in June 24th, 1966, the final Beatles World Tour begins in Munich. Moving forward, they concentrate on studio efforts, resulting in the landmark album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. That's probably one of my favorite albums. Last thing I got for entertainment history is, on this day, June 24th, 2008, a blogger who had thought it would be a good idea to leak some finished tracks from Guns N' Roses' Chinese Democracy receives a visit from the FBI and a cease and desist letter. I see both sides of this because, for one, I do see that he was trying to show some love and just get a little leak out there, and he was trying to let people have a little sneak preview of what Guns N' Roses was working on. And like and that was their worst album ever. Yeah, it was garbage. So, like, it's not that big of a deal. He should have like, gotten in trouble just for that reason. Yeah, literally, bro. Literally, he should have gotten in trouble because he was trying to release the garbage, yeah. man. And the thing is about it, I see the side that he was just trying to maybe get some clout from it or whatever it may have been. But I also see the artist side because I make music, man. And, like, I would be distraught i would be super discouraged if somebody was releasing my music before i was about to have a big you know tour run and i'm gonna have merch and i'm gonna have cds or i'm gonna have vinyls and i'm gonna really put on for my music and you're over here getting it for free on the internet which is gonna happen regardless but you kind of just threw off the momentum that an artist is trying to get and or ban 